Hello, good evening, whatever it is where you, wherever you are. Right, this is just about uh, fitting air suspension to my Hyundai i800. Uh, I came up with the idea of doing this, <coughs> getting rid of the bloody coil springs because it was crap. I wanted something a bit more adjustable. So what I've done, I've got, this is my Hyundai i800 van, 2.5 diesel, and um, fitted air suspension to it. Well, I've got that's my gauge there. They're a bit out because one of the bloody um, sensors doesn't work. But so you press that, and it goes up, and that's the compressor just coming on. The compressor itself is under the floor down there, and there's a little gap just by the passenger door for the compressor and all the other stuff in there. So yeah, uh, that's the so that's the gauge. I can drop it. Two switches here. I've got them two there left and right so you press them and you got so the gauge drops or goes up let's put it right that way up I'll show you what's underneath and how I've done it in a moment uh, that compressor is just on a normal I think it's a 150 psi switch so when it gets to that it'll automatically go off uh, I'll just wait here for a bit until it goes off then I'm going to take it shouldn't take that long but uh, it probably will now, it'll probably take forever and it'll switch will get stuck, tangle blow up and yeah, all that sort of crap. Come on, hurry up. Oh, let's just get them equal. Make sure that's that one there, 64. 64 should drop, there you go, that's them equal. The trouble is, every time I mess with the switch, it drops the air, so it's going to take the compressor longer to go off. Anyway, sod the compressor, I'll turn it off by using the key. It doesn't go off straight away. There it is, it's gone off. Right, I'll show you what's underneath the car now. Uh, what I've got, I don't know if you can see, probably won't. It's too dark in there. That's the bag there, anyway. Let's put some light on this if I can. There you go. That's the bag, there. So there's the trailing arm. I'll show you from underneath so you can get a better view of um, what's going on. Not that you can, because you still can't bloody really see. Right, there's the trailing arm, there. And that is the airbag, just mounted straight. So that's where the coil springs were. The coil springs were mounted from there, then they went up to the top, up there, there's the fitting, just half inch um, BSP I think that is, just a push fit with a screw fit connection, there's the arms, same on the other side, airbag, there, them were originally, say, coils, coil springs, but I just, I wanted something I could raise up and down, do myself, so that's what I did. Easy enough job to do. The main problem was wiring all of this bloody piping everywhere because it, it goes every bloody way. So, yeah, right, we'll go back to have a look at the, uh, the tank now. Okay, right, well, that's the tank there. It's just, I think it's, uh, I think it's a 15 litre tank, just an accumulator. So, you've got the pipe comes out there which goes through the floor the compressor's all in there in that little space and all the electronics and well there isn't that much electronics it's just a switch pressure switch and then there's um a normally open valve which is like the unloader valve which take when the com compressor cuts out that opens and lets the air out from the compressor so it doesn't have to if it has to start again it's not starting with full pressure um just makes Life a bit easier on the compressor because if you try and start it when it's got 150 psi and it takes a lot of current, it could blow fuses. That's what the unloader valve does. So, right, let's uh, cut that off now for a bit. Yeah, so basically, what it is, it's just the Hyundai i800 with, um, like I say, the air suspension on it, which is there. It's got the standard trailing arm. Very, very slightly modified. I think what I had to do was just weld a plate onto it just to um, so I could mount the airbag, which just screws on with two bolts top and two bolts bottom, and uh, that was it. Job done. 
So there you go, that's how to fix air suspension. I, mean, I should do a more detailed video, but I really dismantling, I've already dismantled it that many times, I'm not doing it again. So there you go, that's how you do it.